Hi guys, um, it's Tracy here from Lavinia Stamps and today I'm going to do a demonstration using our new beautiful 12 oxides, the Distress Oxides that have recently come out. They're absolutely uh, fabulous colours. I've worked with them a couple of times now and I really love them. Uh, my favourites, definitely the mowed lawn and the crushed olive here, which is what we're going to be working with today. Um, but we've got Stormy Sky, Tea Dye, Barn Door, Round Espresso, Fossilised Amber, Old Paper, Spun Sugar, Dusty Concord, and right permission and tumble glass so as I say we're going to be using the mowed lawn the crushed olive and I might even use some of the dusty concord as well so I'm going to be using the jelly plate excuse the state of my jelly plate as you can see it's well worn but there's still absolutely nothing wrong with it so you know don't think that just because your ink stained on it that there's going to be a problem with the jelly plate as you can see the state of mine and it's still going fine so we need a water spritzer and we're going to be using a, a fan brush as well First of all, I'm going to put on the mowed lawn, the darker green. Uh, I'm going to brayer this straight onto the jelly plate. So inking up. And then just popping that straight onto the jelly plate. And then moving on to the crushed olive, I'm going to pop a bit of that onto the mat and then just spritz with a bit of water. And then taking the fan brush, I'm going to pick that colour up and I'm just going to flick that straight onto, onto the other colour on the jelly plate. Add a little bit more water. Just gives you a really nice uh, effect, as you'll see when I take a print now. So I'm using some of the uh, multifarious card which we have, which is a really nice, super smooth card, uh, very thick, um, so it will take plenty of water. So just line that up, popping that down over the top, smooth over. And there you have your background. Now, I hope you can see that. Isn't that just so interesting? That's fabulous. Those two colours together, but it looks like a watercolour background. Okay. So I'm going to trim that down first. Thank you. 
There we go. I've kept the edge, the border, because um, I want to stamp something around the edge there. I'll show you now. So taking our script stamp and this time going to be stamping in the Versafine Claire. This is Monarch. Uh, these are the new uh, inks that have taken over from Versafine. They're fabulous. They come in a massive array of colour. They're just really uh, nice to work with especially for detailed stamps. Now I only want the very edge of the stamp around the card so just lining that up so I'm going to ink here. You don't have to be precise this is just to kind of distress the edge and then we're just going to pop that There. Oh, done the wrong side, that side. There we go. I'll come back to this colour <clears throat> shortly. Okay, so taking one of our fairy, fairy stamps, we're going to just bob her on our Perspex block. And this time we're going to ink up in Nocturne, which is the black. Just check that um, she's completely covered. And then we're just going to pop her down. Give that a nice press. Just spend a bit of time with this because they're silhouette stamps they need to soak into the card so don't be too impatient. Just let it sit for a while. There you go. And then taking one of our whimsical hairs. Again, I'm inking up in the Nocturne. And bobbing that down next to her. There we go. Okay, so I'm using the celestial tree, the large one now. And this time I'm going to ink up in Shady Lane. And just pop that down on the edge there. There we go. Now 
Now I'm going to ink up in the black, the Nocturne. And I'm going to pop that down just a little bit nearer. And just by playing with colour, you can create foregrounds and backgrounds, which are really nice. Okay. Can you see that? Okay. So I'm going to ground the fairy just using some paper, just some torn paper, and we're going to pop that over the top. And then taking one of our smoothies, I'm going back to the Monarch. And I'm going to simply just go over the edge of the card. And just build up that bit of colour. This will just ground where they are. Like so. Okay, so I'm going to go around the edge of the card now with the Monarch and these fabulous smoothies. Purple's a great colour to go with green, it's quite complimentary. But don't be frightened of playing with colour. Experiment and have a go. It's the only way we find out. Just going to add a little bit more depth here down at the bottom and blend the tree. Okay, so all we need now is um, the mask for the moon, which I'm going to, which is, this is just acetate, um, I don't know whether you can see that, um, it's just acetate uh, because it lasts that way, we're just going to pop that over the fairy like so and again using the smoothie I don't need to re-ink this now I don't actually want that much ink on it at all uh, so if anything take a little off and then from the center out just flick There we go. Now if we wanted this a little bit lighter, all we need to do is add a little water. And a brush, if I can find one. There we go. Because the oxides tend to lift with water, you can't completely bleach it out, but you can certainly make it lighter. 
just lifts the colour. So you have a little bit more of a contrast between your background. So you can do that a couple of times. And each time it'll get a little bit lighter. Can you see how it's taken the colour out? Kind of 3Ds the moon, giving a little bit more of a, a dramatic finish. Okay, so taking the um, glitter pen now, our jelly roll glitter pen, I'm just going to go over the edge of the, uh, the ground and around the edge of the moon which looks fabulous. I know you can't see that at the moment, I'll try and show you in a minute. Okay, can you see that now? See how that glitter pen just adds that little bit of sparkle, that little bit of detail. And it just looks fab. Okay, well, that's it, guys. Um, I hope you enjoyed that. I just wanted to show you the new uh, Distress Oxides uh, using the jelly plate, really. You get some really fabulous effects. Thanks for watching. Bye.